Tyler Perry, who is a filmmaker, writer, and owns his own studio. Of course, you guys might know him better as Medea. He decided to pay homage to President Barack Obama on his 62nd birthday, which was on August 4th. And this is what he said. This photo was taken at my house. I bought these chairs from an auction because they belonged to Abraham Lincoln. We both sat in them and had a conversation. I wondered when he freed the slaves, could he have imagined that one day a descendant of those slaves would become president of the United States? Only in our America and with all of her flaws, what a great country we live in and we must fight to keep our democracy. Happy birthday to you, Mr. President Obama. And it's like, okay, Mr. Perry. Now I'm not sure where you got your facts from, but Barack Obama wasn't a descendant of slavery. In fact, he is a descendant of Massa. And he said so himself because for one, his daddy, who is a black man, but he is a black man straight from the motherland, Kenya to be exact. So his daddy is not Kenyan American, he is Kenyan, right? And his mother was a white woman. And so again, Barack said that I am the descendant of you know slave owners, my family owns some slaves. So I don't know again where Tyler Perry got those facts that uh, Barack Obama is what we would call ADOS, but he is not. Then he also went on to talk about the chairs that he got from Abraham Lincoln. And he talked about him freeing the slaves. Did he know? And all that. If he, uh, a descendant of slavery would actually be president one day. But it's like, you know, Tyler, you're talking about uh, Abraham Lincoln like he was just this noble guy. Now, he didn't himself own slaves. But, you know, he didn't end slavery because it was, you know, the right thing to do. He ended it because he said, if it means freeing slaves to keep the union together, then that's what I'm going to do. But if it means keeping the union together to keep black people enslaved, well, I'm going to do that too. So that's how slavery happened. So it's not like he did something out of the goodness of his heart. Then Tyler Perry went on to talk about our America and how it's a great country with its flaws and all, and we need to fight uh, to keep democracy. See right there, all of that last thing I said, that makes me believe that Tyler Perry was sent. Cause why are you talking about saving our democracy? Who else talks about saving democracy? The Democrats, ah, oh, democracy's in danger. And we gotta fight to save it and all that. And so it's like, was this really a birthday post or was it a political post? But my thing is, if it was a political post, they didn't give you all the facts, even to the tune of him having to take that down because a lot of people took him to task. It's like, you don't know what you're talking about. Obama's not ADOS. You know, you, Abraham Lincoln, this is why he freed the slaves and all of that other stuff. But, you know, to me, I looked a little bit deeply into it. It's like, well, why are you talking about democracy? And we know that Tyler Perry has a large black following. I would say that most of the people that follow Tyler Perry and that made him wealthy to the tune of being a billionaire are black people. So that right there was very suspect. I think he was told to say that in that post, again, that he took down, got the attention for the wrong reasons. But anyway, instead of Tyler Perry getting his facts from his wig department, y'all know if you're watching the Tyler Perry's movies, you see the wigs lifting up and they just look dry and horrible, right? He needs to not talk to them when it comes to, you know, politics and facts and things like that. He needs to talk to some real people who know, like us, right? We would have told him the truth. So anyway, y'all tell me what you think of that. And for more insightful commentary, please subscribe to this channel and my channel, The Demetri K Show, here on YouTube. Peace.